on residential uh, i i don't want to talk about the demand on residential i just want to understand your views on pricing uh, because a common question that everybody is wanting to know is are the prices going to come down how much space are you going to have per person in terms of it and obviously the earlier place where we cramped people into like a pack of a pack of sardines is not going to happen in the future thing we are already talking to two of the it companies which are taking more spaces from us in the next 6 months and they have already said that the space distancing for their layouts are going to be different which means more but obviously 20 to 25% of the people will work from home so they may not need much more space but they are not using less space simply because we are going to do it now from the statement which came up where 75% people will work from home to 25% people working from home to partially working from home the work from home is now a reality so we will have to benchmark that from our reality situation however the other part is also true any growth in the country in terms of an overall gdp growth which we hope will happen post the third round of covid uh, will see a requirement of commercial real estate the best news is many people are running away from construction of commercial real estate so there will not be an over supply of commercial supply. real estate which happened in the earlier years where it happened so people will now benchmark the market and make commercial real estate so i as a company we as a company are definitely committing to commercial real estate but funnily anoj you will notice that people are willing to go to certain locations certain places which have found favor and there are full buildings which are still vacant even in the best of times in terms of commercial because people are not studying the market and then making the commercial product so i think what you talked about again in another program that you said about how we have to study the market in terms of understanding what we should be building was something which is again i have to repeat in this program saying that we need to study the market in order to create the space so anybody who's full hardy in creating commercial real estate without understanding the nuances of change which has taken place in the marketplace is going to be lost out and that is going to be extremely important in understanding that so that's part of the answer to your question on commercial real estate on the residential real estate i'm going to give you a story which i have i think mentioned to you earlier there is in 2019 uh, three companies which manufactured cars bmw mercedes and maruti uh, 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 suzuki the first one manufactured between 10000 and 12000 cars in 2019 i'm purposely not using the covid time so about 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 10000 cars or 12000 cars mercedes benz also did about 12 to 13 cars 1000 cars sale in 2019 maruti suzuki manufactured 1.7 million cars may i repeat that 1.7 million cars as compared to that if tomorrow mercedes decides to manufacture 1 lakh cars or bmw decides to buy manufacture 1 lakh cars they'll be destroyed as a company because there'll be so much overbill and there will be no sales at all of those cars if they manufacture that any cars because the market can't sustain but maruti at the price range at which you have it is so the bottom of the pyramid is growing much faster than the top of the pyramid and because the price of land is going up and i heard overheard in the last program the price of steel cement and other materials are going up also it is difficult and more difficult with so much cost taxes and other things to build at the bottom of the pyramid there is a problem where we have a cost Uh, overrun in terms of land cost in terms of construction cost in terms of interest cost and all these costs so we are not able to cater for the bottom end of the pyramid so we will have to work the programs as has been done in the pmay schemes and other schemes in order to cross subsidize it in some manner whatsoever in order to grow that end of the pyramid and that is why 
we have so many jhopad patties in mumbai mm-hmm. not because mm-hmm. we cannot construct them but because of the land price construction cost and others are actually outpricing anything which is in reality affordable with the marketplace so this difference between the two segments has been filled in by the automobile sector in the real estate sector also we will have to fill in so that's the broad statement on residential but residential demand will continue and there will be good bad ugly again oversupply is like took place in the ncr region is going to be a disaster uh, so at the same time the supply will have to cater to see how much the market can bear and at what price point these things are going to be able to be catered for those are going to be there and we cannot everybody copy the top end of the pyramid and expect that oh i'm making a good product so i'm going to sell it at a thing or the large size tenements are going to do because the market is good for them i think that would be a disaster for the market if they even tried to do that kind of a thing and make uh, one lakh uh, mercedes benz and bmws yes. so they cannot do that part of it if people don't understand this uh, they will get burned uh, as has happened many times in the past and probably will continue to happen because we don't do enough market study on this market